Hello, the morning maniac here with MOAttack.com, and today I'm bringing you guys a video of Star Trek Online. It's a couple of years old, I, I think, and uh, but it just got out on Steam, so I made this character here. He, he looks pretty badass, I have to say, with the uh, dreadlocks and the horn and everything. Uh, he's a uh, alien. That's the race, and there's a lot of races. Uh, I think they did a great job. The guys that uh, made this game, Cryptic, the guys behind Champions Online, I think they did a great job with the uh, customization bit, the races, and uh, everything like that. Um, because, as you know, uh, the Star Trek. Star Trek uh, franchise is famous for having a lot of races and stuff so I think it's really important that you include a lot of races in the game uh, based off of the um, Star Trek universe but they did a fairly good job with this one the graphics too not too shabby graphics I have to say they are pretty decent um, so yeah, I haven't played this game, uh, haven't played any of this game, so this is my first character, um, my first go, really. Um, so I really do not know what to expect, because it was a pay to play game, then it got free to play after a while, and now it's on Steam too, so um, seems to be the... Uh, the uh, Destiny or whatever, <laughs> the uh, fate, the um, yeah, of a lot of this games the uh, these days. Uh, so let's see if Star Wars ends up as uh, Star Trek did. Both really famous uh, genres and uh, not genres, but famous franchises um, in the uh, sci-fi world um, millions and millions of fans and uh, both the Star Trek and the Star Wars franchise has been going for years and years um, so both have really loyal fans and uh, I'm not a huge Star Trek fan, but uh, I think it's it's an okay show, um, especially for um, uh, it has been going for so many years, and uh, for a TV show to do so, um, that in itself is a great, great um, accomplishment. So, you can see it's lagging a bit, um, as usual. Help at last. I am an emergency medical hologram, so, not a miracle worker. Some, uh, some dialogue here. I need your help, Edson. Much of the Kidmer's crew was injured in the initial board cool. assault. No, use your... Okay, so, that's always good when they have a little bit of dialogue. Getting really low frame rate right now. There we go. A bit better. Um, I don't know if it's the area or if it's the PC or something. Um, I have a pretty powerful laptop, so it should be the, uh, the PC. Um, there we go. Getting some issues again. Annoying. Um, I think it's because of the battle going outside here. A lot of uh, freaking uh, character models loading in and everything. Scanning the crew, okay, so uh, let's go up to one of these people here. Go scan him. Interacting. So you have a lot of skills and stuff and in the beginning you choose between
between different skills uh, depending on what race you're uh, playing. So the Alien race had a lot of customization and a lot of choices um, skill-wise as well. So if you're going to play this game, I suggest playing Alien because they had an awesome customization Not and bad. the humans Benson? and the uh, Vulcans, is Vulcans is, is the race that Spock is. I'm sure many of you guys are, uh, or many of, guy, uh, of you guys uh, know who Spock is, the race he is, he's a Vulcan. Um, the race that you see there with the pointy eyes and the bowl cut. Um, so yeah, the alien, a lot of different choices. Uh, you can color your skin, hair, beard and everything and there's one particular beard that is really really epic and it's actually called Epic Beard uh, probably the most epic beard I've ever seen in my life uh, it's huge and it's it's just it's epic <laughs> um, so yeah uh, really hard to suggest them most because there are so many but when they're free uh, it doesn't hurt um, getting some really hard lag here. Um, but as I said again when it's free it doesn't hurt um, so if you like Star Trek I guess this is a, uh, a must um, not maybe um, that you have to play it all the time, but uh, at least try it out if you're interested, or if you're a fan of the sci-fi genre or the uh, or, or sci-fi animals. Um, yes, you should try it out. I have seen a couple of reviews and stuff. Have been getting, if not bad, then meh ratings. Um, I don't know why, because as I said, I have played a lot of this game. Uh, but maybe I will play more of this game and maybe I will tell you guys what I think uh, if I uh, if I manage to um, to level up a bit and um, if there is leveling here I don't really see an XP bar so <laughs> I don't really know because some MMOs um, have no level system whatsoever, uh, just like the Secret World. Um, if you uh, know what the Secret World is, um, it's a uh, MMO from Funcom, the guys that brought you Age of Conan and um, show and. Uh, yeah. So, let's see here. Sea Wolf at Sea Wolves was issued. Blah blah blah. So probably some war, guild war type of thing. There we go. Attacking the drone here. Let's see, I have like three skills here. Um, I have a skill there. Can probably change it out a bit because I see some skills there in the background as well. Um, so yeah. Um, go. But uh, since it was pay to play and got free to play, and it's on Steam now, um, and got pretty bad reviews, as I said, I guess it's not a uh, revolutionary MMO, but as I said, it's free, so uh, please try it out if you want to. Um, and while you're at it, uh, you can go ahead and click the like button if you want to, and uh, favorite the video, um, or all of my videos, or MMO tax videos, depending on what channel you watch this on. Um, really means a lot to both me and to uh, Motac if you do and uh, please subscribe if you'd like that and um, 
like him more attack on Facebook and uh, while you're at Facebook please like me on Facebook as well I'm on there just search the mining maniac and um, I'm there links in the description as well if you're watching this on my channel so um, yeah um, uh, and if you're watching this before uh, March the uh, 31st um, MMO tech has a uh, giveaway of uh, the uh, new handheld from Sony PS Vita so if you go to their site you get a video on the front page or a um, picture rather you click on it you uh, get sent to a video explaining everything and if you do not have an account on MMOTAC please use me as the referral because then if you win a PS Vita I get a PS Vita too so that is really really awesome so please do that uh, and I also have live streams um, every now and then on uh, some Saturdays and I'm going to have a um, live stream tomorrow that is Saturday so to get the uh, all the info on um, when and uh, stuff like that you uh, have to like my Facebook page but I will try to make a video every now and then before the live stream telling you what time it is and everything like that but not always I can get it fit in but uh, Saturday uh, 5 Central European time uh, 5 in the daytime that is and if you live in another time zone I live in Norway so if you're in another time zone then uh, please uh, check out uh, what time it is in your time zone so you can uh, watch me play some game <laughs> um, and uh, I, I play some random game uh, every live every live stream if I have a new game I want to test out or something I'll play that or uh, maybe I'll just play Minecraft or Star Wars or Starcraft or something um, so I don't really know uh, and, uh, it's own.tv slash the mind maniac links on my channel page and should be in the description as well if you're watching this on my channel um, so yeah uh, I hope that you uh, that you actually like the live stream thing if you if you have watched any of my previous live streams or is going to watch um, the live stream that is uh, next and I really hope you like it um, I try my best probably not the most entertaining live stream in the world but um, I just want to do what all the other cool kids are doing <laughs> basically um, and I really do want to get a lot of recognition and uh, build up my uh, fan base, so to say. Um, so it really means a lot. And uh, thanks to all of you guys that have watched my videos and uh, are watching right now. Without you, I uh, couldn't have made videos. Um, <laughs> at least no one would be watching them. Uh, and I do not have like uh, thousands and thousands of subscribers but I have like 71 I believe or 72 subscribers and that is a lot um, at least by my standards um, I think it's a lot um, or not a lot but yeah the point um, at least someone's watching my videos and uh, I do this mainly because it's fun. I think it's fun talking to myself like a crazy person. Um, and uh, 
so that I, uh, when I come out of my room every time I'm done with the video, my entire family just looks at me weird. <laughs> Yeah, that was the uh, moral speech of the day, I guess. And there we go. Incapitated. Oh dear. Uh, let's respawn. Got some lag. Um, probably because uh, I have the anti-aliasing on and everything like that. Or it could be that there was a lot of enemies at the same time. Uh, but again, the game got meh reviews, so that could be one of the reasons, I really don't know. Um, but uh, I don't think there's any lag if you're um, playing this without recording. Uh, because apparently Fraps takes a lot of your uh, CPU. Uh, I don't know if it takes a lot of your RAM or, or memory, um, but I have like 12 gigs of RAM, so I should be good. At least uh, point. There's a lot of people here. Um, I don't know if I should just pack everyone here. Um, probably should go behind her. There we go. <laughs> there was actually a guy here that I was supposed to talk to. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, thanks for all the help inside. Blah, 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 blah. So, no dialogue here whatsoever. Um, but I don't expect much from a uh, like, two-year-old MO. I don't really know how old this game is, but I believe it's about two or three years old. And it's free. Uh, was paid to play, then got free. Uh, and uh, that also makes me not expecting that much. Um, but uh, as I've said countless times, Every MMO is, uh, if it's not boring at the beginning, it's not that fun, it's, um, a lot of MMOs are kind of slow paced in the beginning and uh, fast paced and uh, fun in, uh, while you're high level, uh, but it seems like there's no levels here, but uh, while but I guess in this game it's all about equipment and your ship because you have a ship uh, right now. As you see, I um, I'm uh, controlling this person here. But you also have a starship that you can um, that you can control, and um, I think that I'm going to my ship right now. There we go. Uh, change uniform, rename. So I guess this is one of my crew members. Uh, let's just call her Tara. Um, there we go. Continue. So yeah, uh, beam to ship. Pretty awesome. I called my ship US Normandy or USS Normandy. Sorry. Um, so let's see here. There we go. Loading screen again loading Vega system. There we go. We're in our ship. Okay, let's just skip through this. Get out of the way. Close. Okay, so here's our ship. And there is a huge ship, USS Kitomer. I uh, don't know how that is pronounced. Um, let's see. How do you control your ship? Whoop. Okay, so here we zoom in. Uh, really don't know how to control this ship. Oh, there we go. Okay, pitch ship down. Up. Uh, left, right, 
really weird controls here. Um, okay, so that moves my camera. Okay. Yeah, really weird controls. Um, don't know where I'm supposed to go. Just escape to clear a target. Okay. Let's just turn off this uh, insert. Uh, USS Oakland, there we go. Hello. So I can kind of see why some of the critics um, didn't really like the space combat thing. This feels really weird, um, but I guess it's a uh, thing you have to get used to. Full impulse, turn the blood, blood. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so this is the speed, maybe. Yeah, I believe this is the speed. This is really weird. <laughs> um, okay, let's fly into this ship, see if that helps. There we go. Okay, um, beam survivors, how do you do that? Maybe you have to slow down your ship, maybe you can do something. No. Okay, let's get some speed here. Try to do this uh, space mission. again of course <laughs> but I, I I just think we're gonna leave it with uh, that um, so I guess there's a lot of new mechanics and stuff to get used to like this uh, space thing here and uh, the space combat and everything is a huge part of this game um, felt really weird at the beginning but Okay, so I can skill up here, uh, but uh, yeah, um, but I guess if you're a uh, Star Trek fan or sci-fi fan or sci-fi MMO fan or something like that, I think this game could be fun uh, when you get used to all the new mechanics and everything. Okay, there's the XP bar, okay, I see. Uh, but maybe that's just the uh, XP for the ship. But anyways, uh, I can't really give the game a score or anything because I haven't played that much of it, um, as I said. But um, yeah, it's free, it's on Steam, so please feel free to, to try it. Um, and um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm the Mining Maniac from Motac.com. Salut.